Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station. We bring the news to you. Have you gotten off track? Are you at a crossroads? Have you been derailed? Hop on in here and join us at the station and let's see what we can do about dumping that junk and getting ourselves back on track. And I just wanted to share a little bit about what we do. And when I say we, actually, I mean me. I'm a pastoral counselor and Life Station Express is what I call what I do with people, what I do for folks. Um, I meet with people and we talk about things, we pray about things, and we work on getting ourselves back on track. And I will tell you, I've had some wonderful times with uh, people lately. And when I meet with others, it's always a time for me getting refreshed, for me getting new insight and revelation from the Lord. And we work together and we talk together and that's what I'm all about. That's what this channel is all about, Life Station Express. And the Lord, back in when I started this, gave me the idea of a train, a train station. We pull into the station, we dump our junk, we get refreshed, we get refueled, we get charged up, and we go back out and we do what we have to do. We go on down the line, we finish up what we need to do, and we just continue on. And that's what we're all about here. Anyway, I hadn't, I hadn't talked about that for a while, so I just wanted to share that. My, uh, my husband Richard and I were able to go this past weekend to a conference, and it was in uh, Brookville, Ohio, outside of the Dayton area. It was called the Go Therefore Conference. Now, we went last year to the Go Therefore Conference 2022, and we also went to the same place in Brookville, Ohio, um, Harvest Revival Center is the church where these conferences are held. We got to go there the spring for the Out of the Darkness conference as well that is held by Thomas Dunn and the Through the Black Ministry. Um, so this was our third time out there. The last time we went, we took our camper and we were fortunate enough to be able to park the camper in the parking lot at the church. This time we drove the car out and um, yes, it did take less gas. We only filled, I think, twice in the whole time we were going and coming. But anyway, we got to go to the conference again and they're talking about a Go Therefore conference 2024. And of course, we are going to be wanting to go to that too. Um, that is just, um, that's what we did this past weekend. And, um, you can look that up. I've got some things on my Facebook page about that. And I'll probably, I'll put this on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. Just, this is just the bare minimum. Um, we went to the conference and, um, Dr. 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 Pastor. I don't know if he's a doctor or a pastor. He's a pastor. I know that. Anyway, pastor Mike Spaulding and his wife, Kathy, are the ones that put the conference together, the Go Therefore conference. And um, they are from Lima, Ohio. I'm not sure how much further that is from Brook Brookville, Dayton area, but they're the ones that put on the conference. And um, it was just wonderful. We got to reconnect with a couple people. Now, I am not one. Oh, I wish I was. I am not one to go chit chat when it's it's time to do that um the speakers and some other folks that have podcasts had tables set up they use the uh, cafeteria at the church it's a wonderful church wonderful building um, they use the cafeteria for people to the speakers and others to set up their tables if they had books or they had um recordings of their podcasts or videos or just information about their ministries they use the uh, cafeteria to set all those things up and to have everybody be able to meet in that room. They also, the church also had uh, lunch and dinner provided by the youth group in that same room. So it was just a wonderful gathering place that, that was available to us outside the sanctuary where the actual conference and the speakers was held. And um, I did share someone else's video on Facebook this morning and it was just a little snippet of what the stage looks like and some of the speakers that were there. And um, it was awesome. But like I said, I'm not one of those people to go mingle. It's not easy for me to do that. Um, I think I've discovered that I'm an ambivert. I'm an extrovert. 
if I have to be, I am an introvert probably 50% of the time, maybe a little less of that, but I'm in, I, I fall somewhere in the middle. So I enjoy talking to people. I love one-on-one, -on -one. um, getting in the crowd and being, um, mixing and mingling is a little difficult for me, but I felt like at this time, and I love to go around and talk to the speakers and look at the books they have for sale. And there's some amazing, amazing information out there. And I'll share some of that later. And I have shared about different speakers and different authors that I listen to and I, I listen to and I read their books. Anyway, I felt this time that God really wanted me to take my business cards and kind of hand them out at a couple different places. And I didn't take like a huge stack of them. I, I probably handed out maybe eight business cards to various people that were there and whether they find it later in their suitcase or in their pocket or whatever. Um, my work as a pastoral counselor kind of fits in with some of the work that the folks there were doing. So I thought, well, you know, I'm, I'm still doing this, this work and I want to promote it just a little bit or kind of get it out there. You know, that's why I did my little life station express in the beginning of this video, just to kind of let folks know that I'm still doing this. I'm not full time. I do it part time. And this channel is actually about that, my faith and what I'm doing as far as working as a pastoral counselor. And also my channel, if you're watching this on YouTube, is also about my health journey, which includes um, the way I eat and the way I've changed the way I eat and through a ketogenic lifestyle. And I actually have my, my shirt on today, Keto Ohio. There was a meetup, M-E-A-T, meetup in Ohio that my friend um, Dawn put on a while back and I wasn't able to go, but I was able, I just wanted to have, go ahead and purchase a shirt to show my support of what she's doing. She's in, um, she's in a different part of Ohio. I have not gotten to see her, but anyway, my second part of my channel is about my ketogenic lifestyle and the way that I've changed the way I'm eating and it's actually healing my body. And that's a whole nother subject. And you'll see that in other videos. Just wanted to say a little catch up. And that's where we were last weekend. Um, I don't know that I have a whole lot more to say today. Just wanted to catch you up and let you know that that's what we're doing. We had yesterday, Richard and I had a very, um, I don't know. I don't even know what word to call it. It was, it was a stressful, um, we almost felt like, well, it was a day of attack. Anyway, we've been moving forward, getting some things done. We got finished with this conference and then we got, we got slammed with a couple things. Most of it's financial stuff. Some of it is stuff we've done. Some of it's stuff that we made a mistake with. Well, I did. And other things were just things that happen, you know, in the world. And these are, these are things that because we live in this world, we have to deal with. So yesterday, I'm telling you, I was on the phone a lot yesterday with the electric company, with our bank. Um, there's some other things going on. And it was one of those days. And when I was on Facebook yesterday, I discovered that one of our other friends, one of our new friends, they had had a day like that too. And I'm wondering if, you know, we came off this high of getting all this wonderful information and, and uh, friendships built and different things from the conference if we didn't get a little backlash from that. Which, you know what? That's par, par for the course, right? When you're, you're living the Christian lifestyle. But we pray, we get through it, and we go on. Actually, one person's um, talk at the conference was about walking through the valley of the shadow of death. And another person spoke about her time in the uh, dark night of the soul. So we go through bad times. We go through these challenging times. We do go through them. Jesus said we would. In this world, you will have trouble, but be of good cheer, for I've overcome the world, he says to us. And that's so true. When we partner with him, when we partner with him in our lives, we do that with not only the good things and the blessings, but we do that with the things that are challenges and struggles. So part of what we learned yesterday, and, and it's, it's ongoing, is that when we have these things come and they kind of take us by surprise and they hit us in the head or they knock us off our feet, um, what do we do? We don't just give up. We don't just lay down. We, we dig our heels in and we thank you, Lord, for showing us that that's exactly what we do. We stand on the word. 
we go to God, we pray, we reunite, Richard and I unite with, um, with the struggles that we're going through and we push through them together. And then we come out on the other side. So today, um, I'm having a good time just because I'm out and about, which I love to do, just go out and about. Um, I came down here to our apartment. It's beautiful down here, the pond and the trees and our second little campers down here. Maybe I'll put a picture of that somewhere. And, um, you know, I'm just continuing to live life and I'm doing the things I need to do. And I'm looking forward to this weekend. I'm looking forward to next week coming. I've got uh, some things going on on our calendar that are going to be fun. And even though we're muddling through with some of the struggles and with some of these challenges that kind of slammed us a little bit. Well, anyway, I'm not sure what that was about. I believe my phone told me I only had a certain amount of time to make a recording, which has never happened before. But then I remembered my phone did an update. So maybe there's something different going on that I don't know about. And I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, I'm going to head to town, pick up my groceries. And then we're going back to, I'm going back to the campground. Tonight is game night, which means there'll be somebody playing wiffle ball. There'll be croquet and a couple other lawn games. So I hope you have an awesome evening. This is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station. We bring the news to you. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.